There we are, the 10.30 collection, bang on time. What a grand day, Jess. Wow. There's nothing like a nice, peaceful day in the country. Hiya, Pat! Good morning, Ajay. Goodness me, Ajay can certainly move on that motorbike of his. <laughs> Imagine how quickly I'd get my round done if I went like that. Wow. Glad I caught you, Alf. Your seed catalogue's arrived. Champion! Just in time, too. There's some winter wheat I'm thinking of ordering. I was just saying to Jess what a lovely, peaceful day it is. Morning, Pat. Morning, Alf. Hi, Ted. Ted. By gum, Ted certainly tears around in that lorry of his. Blink and you'd miss him. <laughs> Ted's a busy man. A lorry might be fast, Pat. But not half as good as my old tractor. Up hill or through mud, a tractor will never let you down. Oh, I've been meaning to do something about that. Now you mention it, Alf. I wouldn't swap my trusty old post van for anything. Hmm. Wait a minute. I've just had an idea. Why don't we have a race around the village? Then we'd see whose vehicle was the best. What do you say, Alf? Count me in, Pat. And so we're going to have a race. Julian says Ajay is sure to win on his motorbike. But, Pat, being a good driver is more than just going fast. Drivers have to use their heads as well as their accelerators. Meow. Mm, that's very true. So why didn't you have some tests along the way to find out who knows the rules of the road? That's a great idea. I'll get all the children to help. We'll invent questions and the drivers will have to stop and answer them along the way. Then we'll see who really is the best driver. Hey, this is going to be quite an event. Ladies, gentlemen and children, welcome to the Great Greendale Race. Our contestants are Alf Thompson, Hooray! Pat and Jess, Ajay Baines, Ted Glenn, Selby. I hope my dad wins. And that, he doesn't stand a chance against my dad's motorbike. Ready, set, go! And they're off. Ajay takes an early lead with Alf close behind him. Then comes Pat and, oh dear, where's PC Selby? One should never ride a vehicle unless it's in a roadworthy condition. Oh, Dad, hurry! Come on, Al. How are we supposed to catch up with Ajay when we can't get past your tractor? Sorry, Ted. There's no I can do about it. There. Now I'm ready to proceed. See you later, Lucy. Go, Dad, go! And PC Selby joins the race. Hooray! Yes, it looks like Edgy is already at the first test stop. Oh, well done, Ajay. You're in the lead. Now, for this test, the children have made up some road signs. You have to tell us what they mean. What's this one, Ajay? Ah, now, I know all these. That one means keep left. That looks like tunnel ahead. What about the one with the car? I made that. You've done a champion job. How long did that take you? Now then, Ajay, if you chatter with my bill, you'll lose all your lead in the race. Oh, dear. So I will. Sorry, Bill. That sign of yours means slippery road. And the last one means look out for the falling rocks. Well done, Ajay. Here come the others. See you later. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. This is hard work. Oh, heck, there's supposed to be a signpost showing us the way. Hmm. Ah, I think we'd better take this road, Alf. Nay, I think that's wrong. I'm going this way. Well, that road led to nothing but a rubbish dump. <laughs> I ended up at a lake. I think we both took the wrong turning. Hmm. Well, it has to be this road, then. Come on, Alf, there's no time to lose. What's happening, Mr Pringle? What can you see? Well, Adji is in the lead. Uh, oh! Oh! Sorry, Adji is in the lead. I've just spotted him up on Ghana Bridge. Hooray! My dad's in the lead! Then it's Ted with Pat and Alf close behind. You left out my dad. Ah, there he is, Lucy, just coming up the first test. My dad's last. Come on, Mr Glenn. We're waiting to give you the second test. Hello, you two. How am I doing? Second place. Now, this is the test, Mr Glenn. We are traffic lights. <laughs> you look more like the twins to me. We're playing at traffic lights. When we hold up a coloured bar, you have to say what that colour means on a traffic light. <laughs> now, this is a good game. Go on, then. Green. Green means go. Red. Red means stop. Orange. Oh, now, that still means stop, Katie, but you can expect the lights to change any minute. Hooray! You got it right, Mr Glenn. Here, let me have a look at those balls. I used to be a bit of a juggler, you know. Watch this. Hey, how's that then? Look at that. Whoopee, there we go. <laughs> I've still got the old magic, you know. Oops! I've lost one of the traffic lights in that old bramble bush. Hang on, I'll get it back in a jiffy. Ouch! <gasps> now then, what's going on here, Ted? I pricked me thumb on that bramble bush. Very tricky characters, bramble bushes. Approach with caution. If you take your test now, PC Selby, you won't be last anymore. Never mind me, I'll be ready to carry on the race when I've got these prickles out. Well then, let's have it. Well, I seem to have left Pat behind somewhere. So I must be doing well. <laughs> Not bad for an old tractor. Oh dear, Daisy. Got lost, have you? We can't have you wandering all over the road, can we? Come on, I'd better get you back in your field. Shoo, 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 come on. This way. Ooh, come on, shoo. Oh. Hello, Alf. What's going on? I'm just putting these sheep back where they belong. Somebody left the gate open by mistake. Never mind me, Pat. You go on and try and catch Ajay. Right, oh, Alf. See you later. Bye, Pat. Yeah. And the exciting news is that Pat has now moved up into second place. I can just see his van winding its way down by Intake Farm. Hooray! Come on, Pat. Come on, Dad. You can do it. Hello, Dr. Gilbertson. I expect you've got a test for me. Yes, Pat. A driver must have good eyesight. Now, Sarah has painted a picture for you to look at, and you must tell her what it is. Oh, sounds easy to me. Except that I'm all the way over here. Uh, mm, yes, well, uh, uh, it looks a bit like a, a teddy bear. No, uh, it might be a dog, I suppose. Look hard, Pat. Hmm. Mm. 
All right, Jess. I'll get it in a minute. Um, hang on. It's Jess! Well done, Pat! Lovely picture, Sarah. Can we put it up in the post office when this is over? Course you can, Pat! Come on, Jess. No time to lose. Good luck, Pat. Bye! Now, don't get too excited, Jess. AJ is probably miles ahead of us by now on that super motorbike of his. <coughs> Hold on a minute. What's this? Oh! <sighs> Ajay, what's up? I've run out of petrol. Oh, dear. I should have filled her up before the race, but I thought I had enough. We're near the winning line now, you know. Oh, yes, I know. Go on, Pat. Round that corner and you won the race. Do you know what? I reckon I've got a can of petrol in the back of my van. Have you? It's in there somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll take a look. But, Pat, the race! I'll have you up and running in a jiffy. Now then, where's that can? Oh, dear. It's BC Morning. Selby! Afternoon, all. What's happening here, Pat? Ajay's run out of fuel. And Pat's stopped to help me. Don't worry about us, Arthur. You carry on. If you're sure, Pat, I'll be on my way. will present the first Greendale Cup to the winner. Come on up, P.C. Selby. Yay! Congratulations. I'm delighted that old-fashioned pedal power has won the day. Thank you, Reverend. Most honoured. And now, a special prize for Pat. Oh, for stopping to help Ajay and losing the chance of winning the race, here's one of Mrs. Pottage's famous homemade apple pies. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Well done, Pat. Thank you very much. Now, anyone for apple pie? Yes, please. And can you make sure you come last next year, Dad? Postman, postman, Pat. Can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Good morning, Pat. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, look, Pat. This parcel's addressed to you. Oh, good. It's arrived. What is it? It's the brand new video camera I've been waiting for. Oh! <laughs> wow. I wonder how it works. These instructions might help. Pardon? Oh, oh, oh yes. Hmm. Come on, Mrs. Goggins. Smile for the camera. Oh! oh no, Pat. <laughs> you don't want to film silly old me. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you make a video diary of Greendale? What a good idea. Maybe I could show the film at the school hall. Oh, yes. I'm sure people would love to come. Great. I can film it on my rounds. Well, I've got a busy day ahead of me, so I'd best be getting on. Come on, Jess. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Pat. Oh, wait. Oh. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, of course. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio. Now hey. then, how do I switch this thing off? Good morning, Pat. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, morning, Dr. Gilbertson. Oh, dear. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, oh, I, I didn't see you there. Um, I've just seen Pat with a video camera. What's he doing? He's making a video diary of Greendale to show at the school hall. 
<sighs> you know, when I was a lassie, I always fancied being in the movies. Really? Uh-huh. And one of those musicals. Oh! Hi. I was quite a dancer in those days, you know. Do you like dancing, Dr. Gilbertson? Oh, no, not me. I haven't got time for all that dancing around. And who would I dance with? Hi. <sighs> I wonder if the Reverend Tims would like to be in my video. Hmm. Do you think this light means the camera is on or off, Jess? Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, never mind. I'll sort it out later. Ooh, a spot of music. That's just what my video needs. Hello, Reverend. Would you mind if I recorded you for my video diary of Greendale? Not at all, Pat. I I'd be honoured. <coughs> and camera rolling, Reverend Tim's take one. Eyes and teeth, Reverend. Eyes and teeth. Uh, pardon? Oh, uh, <laughs> smile, please, Reverend. Oh, I see. Aren't you delivering the post today, Pat? Oh, oh, of course, the post. Sorry, Reverend. I was so carried away with my video, I forgot all about it. <laughs> um. Here we are. Here you are, Reverend. <sighs> Thank you, Pat. Uh, are you all right? Um, yes, I'm fine. Uh, it's hard work playing the piano. Well, you'd better have a rest if you're going to make it to my video show down at the school hall. Oh, oh yes. Thank you, Pat. Cheerio, Reverend. Goodbye, Pat. I'll have to put this down for a minute. Oh, no! I've posted the instruction manual, too. I can't finish my video diary without that. Hello? Dr. Gilbertson, is there anyone in? Oh, oh, hello, Pat. Sorry to bother you, Dr. Gilbertson, but I, I posted the instruction manual for my video camera by mistake. Oh, um, there you go, Pat. Thank you. Would, would you like to be in my video, Dr. Gilbertson? Uh, no, sorry, Pat. I, I'm, I'm very busy today. I was, um, um, I was just giving the surgery a quick clean. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Cheerio. Goodbye, Pat. Hello there, Pat. Is that a video camera? Yes, I, I'm recording a video diary of Greendale. Uh, would you like to be in it? Oh, yes. And we've got the Greendale rocket all nice and clean. You'll want her on your video, won't you? Yes, what a good idea. How does that thing work? That's what I've been trying to find out. There. That should do it. Um, is it recording? Yes. Make sure you get the rocket's best side, Pat. Here, can I have a go? Um, yes. Hey, oh. I say, wait, watch out, Ted. Oops. Oh, sorry, Pat. I'll help you pick them up. Oh, dear. Quick, 
Jess. Catch that letter. What on earth has happened to you two? Nothing. Not at all. Uh, were you filming just then? No. But I can film you some more if you'd like. Uh, no thanks, Bat. Yeah, we're, we're a bit mucky. Oh, well, OK, then. Cheerio. Cheerio, Bye, Bat. Bat. Oh, dear, Jess. Nobody wants me to film them. My video diary of Greendale isn't going to be very long, is it? <coughs> Hello, Sarah. Hello, love. Hello, Nisha. Morning, Pat. Cup of tea, please. Oh, uh, and one of those lovely cream cakes. Coming right up. Oh, I see the camera arrived. Yes. Oh, what's wrong? Well, I'm trying to record a video diary of Greendale, but hardly anyone wants to be in it. People are acting very strangely today. Really? There you go, Pat. Thank you. You can film us if you like. Yes, you can record us icing these cakes. What a good idea. OK. And action. Um, what does that mean? That means you can start icing now. Oh. Oh, I see. Why don't you tell me how you do it? Oh, uh, <clears throat> when you ice a cake, you need to be very careful. And uh, make sure you take your time. What should I say now? I don't know. <coughs> Jess, that was my cake. <coughs> I'd better clean that up. What's happened here? Uh, nothing, nothing. But where did the cakes go? The, the fridge. The, the cupboard. Fridge. What a strange day this is, eh, Jess? Mm. Oh, well, I'd better be going. I'll see you both tonight at the video show. Bye, Bye Pat. love. So, um... Who's in the film, then? Well, I was the first person Pat filmed. And I've provided the music, of course. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to see my video diary of Greendale. I haven't had a chance to watch it back myself, but I hope you all enjoy it. I don't remember that bit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry, Reverend. Wow, you rock, Reverend. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Where on earth is that? I certainly don't remember filming this. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Well, I'd never. Oh. Oh, I am sorry, Dr. Gilbertson. Uh, I must have forgotten to switch the camera off. Wow, Bob! I didn't know you could dance. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> Here, can I have uh, a go? Yes. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> You're so funny, Dad. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! 
Oh, dear. I am sorry, love. <laughs> I suppose we do look pretty funny. <laughs> yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. This isn't quite what I expected. <laughs> no, it's better. <laughs> sorry? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Hear, hear. <laughs> Who would have thought we all had such... <laughs> Hidden talent, oh, dear. <laughs> Next stop, Hollywood. <laughs> you, you mean you liked it? Yes, Dad. You're the best director ever. Thank you. I needed that. Thirsty work being a postman on a day like this. Now then, these are for the station cafe, and there's Dr. Gilbertson's magazine to deliver. Right you are, Mrs. Goggins. Are you going to the picnic this afternoon? At Ted Glenn's? I hope so, if I get this lot delivered in time. Good luck, Pat. Cheerio. Off we go, Jess. Here's the post, Nisha. Thank you, Pat. Have you got much more to deliver? Quite a lot. Poor Jess. <clears throat> it's too hot for him. Mmm, they look good. Pat, they're for the picnic at Ted Glenn's this afternoon. Come on, then, Jess. The sooner we get these letters delivered, the sooner we'll be able to find a nice shady spot and relax at the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're on your own today, Pat. Ah, well. Cheerio. Pat! Before you go, could you take this over to Dead Glen? He phoned this morning asking for sugar. What does he want all that for? He's built an ice cream making machine. He's promised all the children ice cream this afternoon. Ice cream? Hmm, that sounds good. No problem. Ted's house is next on my round. That's it. Now then, let's put some mixture in and give it a test run. Now then, where's the lead? What's he doing? It's an ice cream maker. He's going to make us all ice cream. I love ice cream. What's your favourite flavour? I like chocolate. I like blackcurrant. Do you think it's ready yet? This should work. Just plug it in and switch. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you all right, <laughs> Mr Glenn? My right, lad. Um, now to worry about. Be up and running in no time. Looks like we're going to have to wait a bit longer for the ice cream. Come on, let's go and see what other things we can find to put in it. Good idea. Hmm, electric's gone. Now what am I going to use to power it? But Ah, ooh, ooh. Just the bloke I was hoping to see. Hello, Ted. Here's your sugar. How's the ice cream going? I've had a spot of bother with the electric. I reckon you can help. Of course. What do you want me to do? I fused the lights in the house so my power supply's broken. I thought we could use your van to power the ice cream maker. Well, I don't know. I've got to finish my deliveries. It won't take long. Oh, all right, then. Here you are. Thanks, Mrs Thompson. These will make great ice cream. Who's got ice cream? Ted Glenn's built an ice cream maker. We're collecting things to put in it for the picnic this afternoon. 
I know what's good in ice cream. Cherries. Reverend Tims has got a cherry tree in his garden. Uh, let's go and ask him if we can have some. Good idea. Bye, Bye. Mrs Thompson. Bye, Mum. That should do it. I'll go and start the van, then. Give me a shout when you're ready. Ready, Ted? Ready. The lid. Hang on, Pat. Stop the van a minute, will you? What was that, Ted? Shall I give it a bit more power? Big Pat, turn it off. What's the idea? Where did that come from? Sorry, Ted, I, I couldn't hear you with the engine on. Too much power, Pat. The ice cream's gone everywhere. I don't know, it's have got... Oh, heck. Using a dangerous machine close to a public highway. Obstructing an officer during his work. Throwing missiles at an officer of the law. It's a very serious... Mmm, strawberry. Mmm, uh, very serious. Uh, this uh, won't do. Uh, won't do at all. Mmm, tasty. Strawberry ice cream, PC Selby. Ted's made an ice cream machine for the picnic. That's helping me to get it running. I can see that. His van was a bit too powerful for the job. I can see that as well. We'll have to try something else. I know. PC Selby's bicycle. You can't use that. That's an official vehicle, that is. You wouldn't want the children to go without ice cream, would you? Oh, they're all looking forward to it. It's the picnic in a few hours. Mmm. Here you are, my dear. Cherry ice cream, eh? Mmm, marvellous idea. Thank you, Reverend Timms. See you later. Walnuts are delicious in ice cream and highly nutritious, too. That's great. Thanks, Dr Gilbertson. Look, Mr Pringle gave me some toffees. Let's go and see what we can find in the cafe. Do you think the ice cream machine's ready yet? Blimey. Oh. Oh. This is hard work. Why don't one of you two have a go? It's not getting cold at all. We need more power. It's never going to be done at this rate. And it's perfect ice cream weather. Just look at that sun. The sun, that's it. Ted, have you still got those solar panels? Oh, they're out the back. Well, solar panels make electricity from the sun, don't they? We could use them to power the ice cream maker. Good idea, Pat. I wish I'd thought of that myself. Phew. So do I. What have you found, Mira? Bananas and chocolate. Brilliant. Everyone can have a different flavour now. What about Jess? Maybe we could get Ted to make some ice cream for him as well. Wow. I wonder what flavour he'd like. Maybe banana. Don't be silly. Cats don't like bananas. How about jelly? I know what he would like. Come on. That should do it. Let's go and test it out. What do you want them for? It's a uh, surprise. Thanks, Mrs Goggins. That's the last of the strawberries. Let's hope it works this time. How long does it take? About half an hour, I reckon. That'll give me just enough time to finish my deliveries. I'll give you a hand. What about the machine? Maybe PC Selby could be in charge. Well, I... It's cooler in here than outside on your bike. Um, I suppose I could keep an official eye on it. Uh, make sure no one steals the ice cream. Uh, 
<sighs> Everything in order. Maybe just a little rest. Forty winks. Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Finished. How are we doing for time? Grand. Ice cream should be ready when we get back. Never mind. We can clear this up and start again. Let's get a move on, then. It's not long till the picnic starts. We've got heaps of stuff. Yeah. We've got something for everyone. Meow. That should definitely work this time. Now then, cream, sugar, Oh, no! What's wrong, Ted? I haven't got any more strawberries. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Mr Glenn. We've got loads of other ingredients. Like bananas. And cherries. And walnuts. By gum, I reckon you kids have just about saved the day. Right. Which flavour first? I like toffee myself. It's the only thing I really like. Mm. Do banana and toffee. Uh, banana and toffee first, please. Right you are. What's in here? No, Dad. That one's a surprise for someone yeah. very special. <laughs> Cherry flavoured. Delicious. Walnut and chocolate? Oh, Would you like to try some, Pat? Yeah. No, thank you, Jeff. I'm waiting for the special surprise flavour. Here you are, young man. Thanks. It's ready! This is the one I wanted to taste. But, Dad! The special surprise one. Yeah! <laughs> it's not meant for people, Dad. It's a special ice cream. The Jess. <coughs> Sardine flavour. Postman, <laughs> <laughs> postman, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? I might not be in when you get home, Pat. Nisha's is organising the Recycling Week Jumble Sale and I said I'd help. OK, love. Are you doing the food store, Mum? Yes, Julian. I'm making chocolate cake, lemon cake, strawberry gattos and your favourites, flapjacks. Oh, great! They're fine-looking geraniums, Sarah. Yes, Dorothy Thompson gave them to me. But I can't find anywhere to put them. PC Selby's got his geraniums in window boxes. What a good idea. <coughs> uh, well, I'd better be off then. Perhaps you could make me some, Pat. Uh, well, yes, maybe later. Uh, have you finished with your newspaper, Dad? 
No. Oh, Dad, it's recycling week. I need it. I know, but I've not read it yet. Come on, Jess. These are all to go to the station, Pat. I'll make it my first call, Mrs Goggins. <sighs> Be careful with this one, Pat. Oh, it's the little apple tree that the school children sent off for. <laughs> They're working so hard on their wee school garden. I'll get a chance to see it when I drop the tree off. Come on, Jess. Time for work. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> Have a good day, Jess. Bye, Pat. There you are, Jess. <laughs> You're spoiling him, Nisha. <laughs> Are you all right, Ajay? <laughs> oh, I, I'm fine, Pat. <laughs> then you'll be able to pop these onto the Pencaster train. <laughs> I can manage that, Pat. <laughs> oh, Pat, a, a few people in the village have got things for my Recycling Week jumble sale. Would you be able to pick them up on your post route? Uh, Dr. Gilbertson, the Reverend Timms, and Dorothy Thompson. Uh, no problem, Nisha. Shall I bring everything back here? Yes, please, Pat. I'll take everything down to the village green tomorrow. You can have these old toolboxes for your jumble sale, Nisha. <laughs> I'm fed up with tripping over them. Come on, Jess. Let's see what Julian's up to. Everyone. Hi, Pat. Hi, Hi Dad. Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi, Jess. Look at the wild flowers we planted, Dad. They're grand, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jess likes them too. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something that'll make your school garden even better, Mr. Pringle. Brilliant! The trees are out. Oh, it's fantastic. Can I plant it, Mr. Pringle? Well, Julian and Mira have already dug a hole. I think they should plant it. Oh, oh thank, thank you, Mr. Pringle. Mr. Pringle. Just think, in 20 years' time, our little tree will be taller than Mr. Pringle. Hope it grows loads of apples. Nisha said you had something for me to pick up, Jeff. Why, aye, come with me. A cuckoo clock. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't tell the time anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. It's not a real bird. Pat. Good morning, Alf. Oh, dear Dorothy, the crows have certainly taken a fancy to your lettuces. Oh, I know. Greedy things. They're eating them before we can even pick them. This scarecrow should keep them away. I think I spoke too soon. Thanks, Pat. Nisha said you'd got something for her jumble sale, Dorothy. Oh, that's right, Pat. 
It's me old sewing machine. I hope it won't be too big for your van. Oh. Ah, there. Oh. That's done it. Shoo! Clear off. Go on. <laughs> Good luck with those greedy crows, Dorothy. Oh, thanks, Pat. I'll need it. Oh, what a racket. Oh, I didn't know you could play the violin, Reverend. Not very well, I'm afraid. I've had this old violin in the attic for years, Pat. I thought I'd better give it to the jumble sale. <sighs> Are you sure you want to give it away, Reverend? Well, what the Lord giveth, the Lord also taketh away. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. Here's your post. Oh, thank you, Pat. You're just in time for coffee and biscuits. Oh, lovely. Meow. How did that happen? Oh, dear. It's this old table. It's full of woodworm. <laughs> You'd better throw it out before the legs drop off. Mm, pity. I've always liked it. It looks so lovely in the garden. I'm sure you'll find something to replace it, Dr. Gilbertson. My goodness, Pat! I never expected such wonderful things! Reverend Timms wasn't too happy about saying goodbye to his violin. Oh dear. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll be fine. I hope so. See you tomorrow, Pat. Bye, Nisha. Um, have you seen the evening newspaper, Julian? Mm, uh, uh, sorry, Dad. I needed it for my money boxes. How on earth are you going to make that into money boxes? Wait and see, Dad. Look at our money boxes, Dad. My word, Julian. They're grand. Oh, thank you, children. Oh, that's a funny-looking sewing machine, Mom. It's very old, Mira. Look. You can lower the sewing machine like this. Then lift the lid and, hey, presto, you have a table. Well, I never knew that was a table. Those four wooden toolboxes, Nisha. <laughs> what do you want toolboxes for, Sarah? <laughs> A surprise for Pat. Huh? Yeah, so my mum couldn't come. She's got a sore throat from shouting at the crows. Ah, oh, poor Dorothy. <laughs> Hmm, that gives me an idea. I think I'll buy that cuckoo clock, Nisha. It, it, it doesn't tell the time, Pat. I know, Charlie. I was thinking of using it for something completely different. Nisha, would you think it most selfish if I bought my violin back? Of course not, Reverend. What the Lord has joined together, let no one put asunder. Did you get a new table, Dr. Gilbertson? No, I've not had time, Pat. 
Then look no further. <gasps> it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, Pat, you're a genius. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, what a busy afternoon, Pat. I sold out of everything. What are you going to do with these old toolboxes, Sarah? Wait and see. Mum! Mum! Please can I play with Mira? Ajay will bring me home later on. All right, Julian. Have fun. I can't imagine why you bought that broken clock, Pat. <laughs> I know somebody in Greendale who urgently needs it. <coughs> Show! Show! Oh, go on! Show! Show! Hello, Dorothy. I've brought you something that might help. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, Pat, what would we do without you? What a clever idea, Sarah. You made the toolboxes into window boxes. Well, it is recycling week, Pat. <laughs> Mum, Dad, we sold all our money boxes too. Except for this one. I made it out of your newspaper, so it belongs to you, Dad. Oh, thank you, Julian. Isn't it amazing what you can do with other people's rubbish? Wow. Just the cat. 